Welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a mommy blogger from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I'm a mommy YouTuber and welcome to my channel. So on this channel, I do motherhood videos, talk about motherhood, talk about life as a mom and as a wife. I also do DIY videos. So if you're into DIY stuff, this is the channel for you. And I also do family vlogs, okay? So there's something for everybody on this channel. So if you're new to my channel, you're welcome and thank you for clicking on this video and if you are a returning subscriber, hey, thank you so much for coming back, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not yet subscribed, just join this family, okay? Thank you. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that each time I see it, it, it bothers me a lot, a lot. Like, each time I see anything relating to it, I'm like, why are human beings so cruel? Why are human beings so terrible? You know, and it's about skin bleaching. It's about bleaching your skin. It's about, you know what? Bleaching your skin doesn't even bother me that much, okay? You're free to do whatever you want to do. What really keeps me up at night, okay? Is people who go ahead to bleach their children's skin. They go ahead to lighten their kids. And yeah, in this video, I'm also going to be showing you guys my recipe for DIY body butters for children, for adults, skincare basically for children. I'm going to be talking about it in this video, okay? But I've talked about it before on my Instagram page. If you're not if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. That's my handle below. It's Adeze Space. You know, so Instagram, that's my space. YouTube, this is my space, okay? <laughs> I've talked about this a bit on my Instagram page before and I got a lot of messages from moms asking me, oh, you, ru you rub share butter on your child, won't it darken my child? Um, do you have, what, do you, what can I use to make, to bring out my child's color, to bring out, <laughs> that, that's kind of language they use, to bring out my child's color, some of them will say, oh, my child is fair, I don't want something that will darken my child, or uh, my child used to be fair. Basically, what they are saying is, I want to bleach my child's skin. Finish. When I see your message, when I see your, your whatever, that is all I can see from between the lines. That is what, that is just, those are just the words that you didn't write. When you read such messages, you can pretty much tell what they are trying to ask. I actually prefer those who come out outright and say things like, I want my child to be lighter or I want to bleach my child's skin. If even if, if they can come out and say, do you know what do you know I prefer? It? Part of why I prefer it is that I feel that people like that don't really know that what they are doing is so wrong. They don't really know. So if you can educate them and show them that okay, this thing they are doing is wrong, then maybe, just maybe they won't do it. But you see those people that will come and be twisting the English, my my, my child's real colour. Eh, I don't want, I want to bring out all those things, but when people are to such English. To me, it's obvious that they know what they're doing is wrong, but they're just trying to see there's a way around it, there's a way they can make themselves sleep better at night, okay? To me, my children's skin color is very beautiful, okay? I don't know why I'll have a child and I'll start seeing the flaws in my child, like my child's skin color, like, like, like who are you? First of all, if you really wanted to have light-skinned children, didn't you see Oyibo to marry? Didn't you see Abino to marry or people that are really fair? You didn't see such people to marry. You went ahead to marry a fellow blacky like you. You went ahead to marry a fellow dark skinned African like you. And then you want to bleach your child's skin. And I've noticed, I remember my friend was talking about it recently that light skin is coming back. Like light skin is coming back. It's not like light skin went anywhere. But uh, for a while, people started celebrating um, black, um, dark skin. I think after Agwani Darego won um, Miss World, yeah. After Agbani Darego won Miss World, I noticed that dark skin started becoming more celebrated in Africa, in Nigeria, even all over the world actually. There's this dark skin movement that is going on both low key and high key, okay? But right now, I can see that the light skin movement is coming back up. Now, I don't have any problem with people that are born light skin. To me, everybody is beautiful in their natural state. If you are born very, very extremely fair, that is, that is your beauty. If you are born extremely dark, that is your beauty. I don't put one above the other, okay? So I really don't agree with those people who try to make it look like light-skinned people are ugly. Yeah, just because they are light-skinned, that's why they are fair, that's why they are fine. If they didn't have light skin, they would be ugly. If you didn't have dark skin, maybe you too you'd be ugly. So, 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 keep quiet. Okay, so for me, 
none is above the other if you are born naturally light skin you are beautiful if you are born naturally dark skin you are beautiful but do not try to cross over and i see that the crossover is usually more of people crossing over from dark skin to light skin which is really really terrible okay yeah to me people who even bleach their skin they do not look fine they do not look healthy they look like war geckos i can see that their undertone is now up so why go through all that to be accepted by who by who i mean by who, who who's as who's whose uh, acceptance means so much to you that you would rather destroy your skin and destroy your child's skin just because you want the, you want your child to look a certain way okay so for me I just wanted to rant about it because it really hurts me a lot when I see Do you know, I even saw a page on Instagram that is dedicated to bleaching children's skin It is dedicated to showing you how to turn your child's skin from dark to light They'll show you before and after pictures You know, really, really terrible stuff At the end of the day, you are projecting your insecurities on this innocent baby That has nothing to, that doesn't even care how the baby looks Or how he or she looks you are projecting your insecurities on this innocent baby and you are not giving the baby more problems like being African is not a problem enough being Nigerian is not, you don't have enough stress in your life like your child is not ordinarily going to go through a lot more stress just being Nigerian you want to add, add uh, 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 you want to add personal image and skin color issues on your child that, that's really bad please so anybody out there who is thinking of bleaching their, their children's skin please stop it your child is beautiful just the way he or she is okay and if you've not yet had kids and you're dark skin or you are even if you're light skin and you know that if your child comes out looking anything other than oibo it's going to offend you please go and look for a white man and marry look for a white woman and marry and that's not even a guarantee that your child is not going to come out looking african but in any case if you want mixed babies if you want really light skin babies please go for people other than your african race okay it will increase your chances i'm just telling you the facts okay i'm just telling you the facts let's not let's not let's not deny it a lot of people feel like mixed race children or lighter skin is beautiful if that's what you feel it's fine i'm not here to come and convince you otherwise because truly light skin is fine dark skin is fine so i'm not going to come and tell you that light skin is not fine it's fine but if you know that that's what you want to go to go for that's what you want to see in your child please kindly spare your generation heartache and just go for a white person okay yeah that's it let's talk about colorism if i want to, if I want to talk about colorism in africa actually in nigeria we will talk until we are tired as in we'll, i'll talk this video will be, will be two days long okay so i'm not even going to go into that i'm not just going to how we are we are very racist to ourselves like like we don't even like our own selves <laughs> i won't call it racism anyway it's not like being, like i'll just call it uh what do i call it now hatred self-hatred a lot of Africans and Nigerians especially have deep-rooted self-hatred issues so these are the issues that play out in the media these are the issues that play out in, in what we uphold the kind of celebrities we uphold the kind of things we endorse the kind of things we celebrate it plays out it shows it's evident the kind of things we even say to each other you know like when a child is born when my daughters were born actually Cora people came and started telling me things like ah this child is going to be dark oh. i hope you know this, i hope you know this child is going to be dark ah this child is going to be dark oh. and i was like first of all I, i'm not fair so where what were you expecting me to give back to an oibo like i'm not fair now so i don't understand and my child is african and me i'm the mother i'm not complaining i love i love my children's complexion like i love it i love my complexion like i don't want to be dark i don't want to be lighter i love the way i was born so why why are you feeling bad for me or why are you to me i feel you're feeling bad for yourself so that way you're going to project on, on me and my children okay so just save it anyway so yeah i'm just going to talk about the diy and body butter and body oil that i make for myself and my kids okay so um basically this is the body butter i made it i'm I made this body butter it's just shea butter olive oil castor oil cocoa butter tea tree oil and peppermint oil that's those are the things that i mix together i just put them inside a bowl i first of all melt the cocoa butter because cocoa butter comes in a very solid state so i melt it and i had to chop it a little more than normal because um, the big chunks were harder to melt so I had to chop it down more and then I melted it on a 
on the, on the fire I tried to do the double boiler method so I put a pot with water and then put a pan on it a metal pan on it and added the cocoa butter and I kept stirring till it was all melted so after it melted I left it aside for it to cool for a while it didn't go back to solid state but it was a, it was really cool it had already cooled down well then I added my other oils like the castor oil yeah like the castor oil the olive oil the peppermint oil and the and the tea tree oil so I added those then pour them into the, the shea butter and then I use the hand whisk to whisk it very well like you just keep whisking like the way you whisk um, uh, butter icing for those of you who bake the way you whisk the way you whisk butter icing is basically how you do it you can use a hand mix mixer you can use a hand electric mixer you know or a cake mixer but I decided to use my hand and the hand whisk so that anybody out there who doesn't have um, the machines or an electric mixer can make it there is no excuse not to make this body butter okay so after i mixed it with my hands for a very long time it even changed color and became lighter and very fluffy like very fluffy guys you guys can see how it melts into the skin it looks like uh, it looks like a cream it's it feels like a cream it doesn't it doesn't feel like butter anymore it doesn't feel like shea butter or cocoa butter and it's not it's not like an oil it's just it just has this consistency like a light fluffy cream that's so that's how i make it basically it smells really nice the peppermint oil makes it smell really nice you can add any other essential oils you like just know the benefits of the oil you're adding, you're adding before you add you can add lavender oil you can add rose oil you know whatever it is you want to add you can add just make sure you know the properties of the oil and add a little when it comes to essential oils please be careful essential oils can be really dangerous because these are highly concentrated oils like highly concentrated and they can actually burn the skin so when you are putting them in in um, anything you're making make sure you put as little as possible or just you no know, just be conservative with it okay don't just open it and pour that's why you can see that the dropper is not so uh the dropper doesn't allow a lot to come out at once you can see so it just comes out in drops so just add the drops and these things they might look expensive i think i bought this six five or something this little bottle yeah i think i bought this six five or thereabouts but i've been using this for months like in fact I, i'm even tired <laughs> like i've gotten used to the smell now i even want something else i've been using this um uh, uh peppermint, peppermint oil for a very long time i've also been using this tea tree oil i don't know if you guys can see the quantity but it's still somewhere here i bought this thing since last year so you don't need a lot and it has a lot of benefits i also like having them at home for first for first aid purposes these are things that are very good for first aid purposes to use to clean wounds you can just add it to water and use the water to clean wounds because they have a lot of very good benefit i also use it for skincare for pimples i actually have one pimple now i'm going to use it on it here so i use it for skincare i just put it um on my face for pimples that is tea tree oil but for the tea tree oil i use very little and i use i mix it with a carrier oil like the carrier oil is, a, is an oil that is like olive oil that's not really concentrated but good oil so i use a carrier oil like olive oil or almond oil or jojoba oil all, all those oils i can just add little tea tree oil to them and then dab it on the, the place where i have the um the pimple and it will go so basically that's what, that's what i do for the body butter and then the oils these oils i is the same it's just to mix oils together basically i mostly use olive oil i love olive oil i you can use coconut oil i didn't put coconut oil in any of the things i did here but you can use coconut oil coconut oil is very beneficial it has a lot of health benefits but personally i do not like the smell i feel like cora started having rashes when i started using coconut oil for her um even though some people swear by it they say they really it doesn't cause rashes but for me it's it clogs my pores for my face it's give me pimples if i try it as if i even smell it <laughs> it's give me pimples so that's why i don't use coconut oil and i felt that Cor like Cora said having a rash when i said using coconut oil on her but so many people swear by it and coconut oil has a lot of benefits just make sure you go for the um what do they call it now those ones that are transparent cold pressed yeah go for the cold pressed oils you can get them in any stock in most supermarkets they have them 
they, are, they come in jars, some come in bottles. I buy the one that comes in jar, in a jar. It's cold pressed. I use it to cook most times. And most times it's just cooking I use it for. I don't really use it to, um, I don't use it on my skin. But I've seen people that use it on their skin and they really love it. So you can add to this mixture, you can add coconut oil. I use olive oil mostly. I also added castor oil. In the one that I did for myself, which is the second bottle, I added more castor oil than. Um, the one I did for my kids because castor oil is a very heavy oil and I don't want my kids to start sweating unnecessarily that's why I didn't add so much for theirs but for mine I use this oil mostly for my feet you guys I have oily skin on my face but the, the, the skin on my feet is very very dry like can, you can almost get skin if I'm not careful so that's why I added a lot of castor oil into the oil mixers for myself so I use it basically for my feet your legs will be glowing for days as in for days <laughs> if you want that skin glow if you have dry skin make sure you use oils see i really don't believe in all these creams that people go and buy yeah, they tell you they're mixing this and mixing that all those things have some chemicals that to me are, are not just necessary for my skin oils do the job for you okay one tip is if you have dry skin or you know you just want your skin to glow more the moment you have your bath don't dry your body completely you can just dab the excess water and go in straight with your oil you can even go in straight with your oil inside the bathtub there okay your body will still dry and it will leave your skin really moisturized and looking really really beautiful okay so yeah that's it for the oil um, and I also showed you guys um, sunscreen. This sunscreen, I won't lie, I had this sunscreen for a while, but I hadn't used it. I don't know. This one gives me a great cast on my face, but I can use it for my body. I can use it for my kids if we know I'm going to go out in the sun for a very long time. So I'm still on the hunt for a good sunscreen for my face, but everybody needs sunscreen. Whether you're fair, dark, African, non African, you need sunscreen. Sunscreen prevents you from having um, scars, things like acne scars, things like um, uh, hyperpigmentation using sunscreen is going to prevent those okay that's one tip for you so those of you that are always looking for skin glow, skin glow, skin glow, skin glow please just go and buy sunscreen first protect your skin first of all and then if you're using sunscreen whatever cream you're using underneath will work better whatever um, serums or whatever you're using underneath will work better so go and get I know I'm being hypocritical for saying this, but please go and get me. I'm going to get my own. When I get my own, I'm going to show you guys. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for my baby's bum, I use the body butter for hair to toe for them. Hair to toe. Yeah, I use it on their hair too. Hair to toe, I use the body butter. And I notice that whenever I use this body butter on their bum, they do not have rashes. Right from birth, they do not have rashes. But if you also need a nappy rash, because the time I didn't have my body butter and I just had to use something so i had to buy a nappy rash i bought these little angels asd a little angels uh, moisturizing barrier formalizing nappy cream it works really fine it works really well like if your child has that diaper rash two, in fact what's today just one day just use this make sure you air, air dry the balm after the, you finish washing air dry the balm use this uh, nappy rash before you wear the diaper and also make sure you change your children's diapers as often as possible your child has no business wearing diaper that is drooping if your baby's diaper is drooping that diaper is too full for that child please change it i change my baby's diapers as often as possible because i'm not in the mood for a cranky baby so anytime they poo anytime they pee, most i said not even poo anytime they poo of course i have to change it immediately but anytime they pee and i notice that okay this this diaper has pee in it i'm going to change it instead i'll keep the child without diaper rather than keeping a child in a wet diaper okay so don't say oh yeah you, you have the money that's why it's not about having the money okay if your child's diaper is wet and you know that the child's diaper is wet and the child is going to be uncomfortable it's better for you to leave the child like that instead be mopping your ground than, than for you to force the child to wear a, a wet diaper it's not really not good for their bum this is the um, soap i use for my baby this is the long reach um two in one baby wash it's really nice I do, I'm using network marketing, so this is one of the products that my company is Longreach. I partner with Longreach. So this is one of the products that Longreach makes. So I use it for my children. It's really nice, but you don't have to use it. You can use any baby soap. To me, any baby wash works. I don't know why people are always looking for special, special. Like, any of them, or even those 15 naira soap or 20 naira soap that is made for babies, they all work, okay? Except your child has a really sensitive skin or a problematic skin. That's why you should not start looking for things like Sebamed or the more expensive baby wash. Yeah, but if your child has normal skin, your child's skin is okay, 
please any any soap or cream any wash any baby wash works i also use um black african black soap yeah i buy that's where i buy my oils from i buy african black soap for him very big quantity like this and it's cheap i buy and use 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 on my tire i use it for my children so i use it for myself i use it on my hair for a shampoo you know so these are things that are cheap so nobody should come and tell me i don't have the money or it's not affordable I don't, all these things are cheap okay african black soap is very cheap you can use it for you can use it for your child hair to toe um Shea butter is very cheap. You can, use for your child. you can even use ordinary, just shea butter, just shea butter on its own. You don't even need to do all these things I just did. Just shea butter on its own, and your child will be glowing. Just coconut oil. You can make coconut oil yourself. Your child will be glowing. Just olive oil. This olive oil. I think I bought this this container for like one three or so. Olive oil on its own, especially for cooking, is quite expensive. But for your body, you rub and tire. As in, you will rub and rub until you be like, you know what? I'm tired of this oil. Let me look for something else. Just this bottle of one three, you can use it for a year. So please go for olive oil, okay? So yeah, all these oils I mentioned, all these butters and oils I mentioned have a lot of health benefits. A lot. Just do your Google search, you'll be amazed. Like I always say, I always go for the conservative approach. I said my child has skin issues, and the doctor has recommended using some of these over-the-counter um creams and stuff like that you really do not need anything special for your children's skin some people mix from back a with um shea butter or with oils or with cream to rub on their children please if you do that please stop it from back a is not a body cream from back a is a steroid okay it's a steroid cream and over time steroid creams on your children's skin can cause them to have issues Okay, that's why steroid creams are even given to you to use three days. They tell you use for three days, and after three days, if you don't, you know, see results, then you come back. Steroid creams are not designed to be used long term. They are not designed to be used every single day. So please, when you have a child, don't be listening to all these people on the internet. Don't even listen to me. Say, so go and do your research. But seriously, don't listen to people on the internet. You go on Facebook and say, my child has a character. What should I use for my child? Don't start mentioning use this, use that, use this, use that. And you two grand uses, don't do that. Instead, go to the hospital and use proper medication. Aside that, you can do your research. A lot of skin issues that we have, we have natural oils that are very accessible that can cure all these things. So before you go and start looking for drugs, start looking for medicine, start looking for uh, steroid creams and all these uh, concussion that people make 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 and be selling. Just try the conservative method. Method. Try using cream oils. Try using all these things that I mentioned now. And if it doesn't go, then maybe that's why you should now look for a second opinion and then go a step further and get medication. But don't don't mix from back A with your child's cream. It is very dangerous. Don't mix any other cream. All those things that they call baby tributan. This one, that one. That people call. Do not mix those things and use them long term. Same way. Don't just go and carry any medicine you like and be giving your child. Don't do it for their for their skin too. It's really bad. You might not even because I've heard people say, ah, I, I, I believe my child, I believe my child's skin, and nothing happens to the child. Some of these things, the effects are not physical. Okay, they don't think that you're going to just see in three or four days. Some of these things are affecting their nervous system, their immunity, things like that. Okay, like I said, don't take my word for it. You have the internet. You have uh, you have tools to search online. Go and search and do your research okay so anyway i've talked too much for this video i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys are going to try these recipes i gave you guys you guys should please try it okay try it and give me feedback i'm sure you are going to love it okay and please share this video share it on your social media share it on facebook on instagram let people know let moms know let parents know that these things are easy to make and have a lot of health benefits also we have a group on facebook for parents it's called the conscious parents forum i'm an admin there so if you like to join this group i'm going to leave the link in the description box i'm also going to leave it leave the name of the group on the screen or you can contact me and i'll add you to the group there we talk about everything about child care parenting school education for your kids we bring a lot of experts sex education how to prevent um, abuse, child abuse, how to help uh, special needs children, how to help kids that are lacking behind in school or 
kids that need attention basically everything parenting we talk about it there even if your child is two months old or even if your child is a day old or your child is 17 16 years we also have um we also talk about um things concerning young adults for teens for preteens everything parents as long as you have a child or you want to have children in the future or you are a child yourself and you want to learn more <laughs> whatever the case is please join our group it's free i'll add you it's on facebook just contact me send me a message and i'm going to add you or just click the link in the description box and you know um, request to join and once i see the request i'm going to approve so yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>